From Fanon to Africa with Love, Part 2. As the economies of the West and East tumble, tremors may also be felt in African economies as heightened food prices push populations to the breaking point of near starvation. In country after country, the struggle for life becomes even harder, and it seems like leaders are more remote than ever. Whenever I read of economic or ethnic strife in any part of Africa, I'm reminded of Dr. Franz Fanon, the ethno-psychiatrist born in Martinique, who became a revolutionary, working on behalf of the Algerian Revolution and writer of the masterpiece, The Wretched of the Earth. Fanon's work was widely read on three continents and is still worthy of study, not least because the insightful thinker predicted how African leaders would misrule if they didn't unite and didn't develop truly independent and socialist economic and political systems. Many African post-colonial leaders, trained as they were in Eurocentric schools, sought to replicate such theories in African societies, which could only result in disaster. Fanon is cutting when he describes the role of these Eurocentric African leaders who were attempting to recreate little pieces of Europe in their former colonies. Quote, in underdeveloped countries, we have seen that no true bourgeoisie exists. There is only a sort of little greedy caste, avid and voracious, with a mind of a huckster, only too glad to accept the dividends that the former colonial power hands out to it. This get-rich-quick middle class shows itself incapable of great ideas or of inventiveness. It remembers what it has read in European textbooks, and imperceptibly, it becomes not even the replica of Europe, but its caricature, unquote. When leaders were trained in capitalist colonizing economic theory, the most important lesson they learned was how to recreate colonialism, not to destroy it. Many African nations have been riven by deadly and destructive ethnic clashes such as Kenya, Nigeria, Rwanda, Mauritania, and beyond. Fanon foresaw this half a century ago, Nkrumah tried to organize against it, but regrettably, we are where we are. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.